many of you have ever heard of a nuclear bomb? Yes. Amen. All right? And so we have a nuclear arms race right now, don't we? Amen. Do you know that when the U.S. developed that bomb that they dropped on Hiroshima and Japan yeah. in 1945, yeah. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, yeah. that was a dud bomb. It didn't go off the way it was supposed to go off. It was yeah. supposed to show way more power than it did. Wow. It was 16 tons, okay, mm. of dynamite that went off, and it decimated those cities. You hear what I'm saying? Everything that was in its path in that radius, that certain radius, yes. was decimated. Flesh, mm -hmm. brick, mortar, infrastructure, everything gone. All right? That's the power that we had on Earth in 1945. I want you to know that today they have developed a bomb that is a thousand times more powerful than that bomb. Jesus. The nuclear power that we have now is worth, is a, a measured in 50 million tons. Mm, and if you drop that thing anywhere, guess what? Anything in its wake yes, come on. is going to be decimated and destroyed. Have you ever seen footage of a bomb going off, a nuclear bomb going off? Do you know the, the hole that it makes in the ground, first of all, is a mile diameter. Jesus. When that thing hits, the mushroom goes up. But the power goes out, and you see the power Jesus, going, just Jesus, going, going, Jesus, going Jesus, in that radius, destroying everything in its wake. Yes. Jesus. We have bombs now that have the capacity, not just of the 16,000 that was dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, 50 million ton bombs. Jesus. That's the power that we have in the natural, okay? We also know this power in the spiritual, right? Satan is raging, isn't he? Witchcraft is on the rise. You got devil worshipers wanting to go and, you know, Congress and all that stuff. But the devil is on the rise as well with his power. All right? But I want you to know that in this day, God has a power that he wants to bring to his people, an anointing and grace that he wants to bring to his people that will surpass the power of a 50,000 ton age bomb. That will surpass all the power that the enemy can bring against you. Do you know he has to do it? Amen. He's got to do it. His Amen. word says that he's going to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. And he sent us that power. Mm. Now you here are in this house are going to be privy to this anointing today. God has a sign for you to be here to hear this word of his glory. Because he wants you to understand what he's doing. Jesus. He wants you to see into his glory and to his plan and what he's doing. He's not only doing it for the world, but he's got to do it for you first. Yes. You've got to know who you are first yeah. and what you're packing. Come on. Amen. Apostle brought up Moses. Moses didn't even know what he was packing. That's right. Okay? Yeah, that rod that he had. Hallelujah. What did that rod do? God put his glory in that rod. You hear yeah. what I'm saying? That was oh, God's yeah. glory in that rod. Yeah. And the glory in that rod did what? It defeated the power of the day. Amen. Yes. Pharaoh was the power. You hear what I'm yeah. saying? Wasn't no power greater than Pharaoh yeah. on earth yeah. at that time. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So we got a 50 ton, a 50 million ton bomb. We got the devil raging over here. What do you think God is going to do in this day? In this day. Hallelujah. How many rods do you have in your hand? Hallelujah. Apostle, you got a gazillion gifts. A gazillion gifts. Hallelujah. You got gifts and talents. He said, take what's in your hand and I'm going to glorify you and glorify myself with what's already in your hand. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. You, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Moses was given the glory of God in his rod, people. Okay? Yes. Moses, it wasn't even so much his word when he spoke. It was the glory of God behind what he was saying. He was the vessel now. Don't get me wrong. We're all vessels, but Moses was used as a glory bomb for God Come on. to defeat the power of the dead. Amen. God sent him in there like an H-bomb. You hear what Come I'm on. saying? Right. With 50,000 tons of glory and yeah. knocked Pharaoh right out, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. According to God's plan, he didn't get knocked out all at once. 
But God wanted to show them who he was. That's right. Right. God wants to show some. God could have knocked them out in the beginning day one. That's right. That's but there right. were lessons to be learned. That's he right. wanted to show his glory and power in every situation. Yeah. God wants you to know he got this. Yeah. All those little tiny trials you're going through, that's God giving you opportunity. Yeah. Hallelujah. To use his glory. It's giving him opportunity to show his glory in your life. These little things, you, you, man, you come on, you can hop over that stuff. Finances, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing for God. That ain't nothing for God. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, it's like the lice over there in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? It's like the frogs. Okay? God knew what he was doing with those yeah. frogs. He was planning to deliver them from the frogs in the first place. But what did he do? He sent them out there. He said, look, I'm going to show you something. Yes. I'm going to show you what I got. <laughs> right. I'm going to show you what I'm packing. <laughs> Get all miserable and all upset. Amen. Because the frog's attacking you. Oh my God. Because oh. the water turned to blood. Amen. Oh my God. Because the lice eating you up. Amen. The, the frogs were sent to eat the lice. <laughs> Come on now. Praise God. So, do you know what the word of God says about Jesus? Come on. It says in Hebrews that Jesus Hallelujah. And he's called you to be little bombs. 
From that explosion that he's sending all over the earth, he's sending out smaller explosions. That's it. That's and that's it. you, that's you, that's you, and that's you. But he's not a dumb God. He's not going to send you out before you're ready. That's Amen. It. Glory coming. Yes. Glory time. Thank Glory you. coming. Yes. Glory that you can't stand up. In the service. You experience that glory today, Pastor Johnny. That's the glory of God. It's yes. going to get thicker. It's going to get heavier. Hallelujah. You, Until God has his way in us. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Praise we have a better covenant than even Moses. Do you know all that stuff that went on in the temple, all that glory God showed in the Old Testament? Our covenant today is better than that. Man. And we all, you know, a lot of people talk about the Jewish nation and Israel, and that's fine. God said to love them, pray for them, and we do. But your covenant is better than that. Well, you want Amen. their stuff. Praise God. You understand what I'm saying? Why are you envious of their stuff? The scripture says they're supposed to be envious of us. They're supposed to be jealous of us. So why do you Amen. want their stuff? Pray for those Jews and leave their stuff alone. No. You hear what I'm saying? Because God got stuff that's better. Yes. Is it okay? Never tried to. Okay, great. So, because God has stuff, okay, for you that's your stuff. Yes. Not only are you occupying this new covenant through Christ Jesus, the great mediator, you are and have the old blessing as well. Thank you, Jesus. We go through Deuteronomy 28 like, oh, thank you, God, and it's wonderful. But did you know you're supposed to be walking in that already? Amen. That's already yours. Amen. You've already got that. Amen. Okay, that is yours. Everything you touch, everything you lay your hands to through the glory of God is yours. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He said, why are you looking at men when all you got to do is ask me for what you want? Amen. Just ask me, and I will not withhold any good thing from you. Amen. No good thing will be withheld from you. Praise Just ask, okay? And I, I, I'm cutting my time short because of the time. He wants, and the whole purpose of this great explosion of glory that's coming, and it's already starting. Thank you, God. It's already started, okay? And it's coming this way. There's an arm of it that's swinging in the house of blessing now, okay? Because he wants you, according to Psalm 96, 7, to declare his glory Amen. among the heathen and his, mon his wonders among all people, yes. okay? Zion is being built up according to Psalm 102, 16. God is building his holy city in us, by us and through us. And he's methodically purposed, okay, fully and deliberately on purpose, knowing exactly what he's doing. He's dynamically and exceedingly magnificently building us and making us and shaping us so he can appear in us, by us and through us, through his glory, in Amen. his glory, yes. in his power, in his authority. Yes, Lord. From glory to glory, he's making a city. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Hallelujah. That will glow. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. But in the love and peace and glow that we have, we'll have a power that's greater than a 50 million ton beach bomb. Jesus. It will have the power that's greater than anything that Satan can do on earth. That's it. Destroy the works, the of, works the of the evil one. Amen. And how are you going to be destroying the works of the evil one when every time the, you know, the evil one comes to you and slaps you, you roll back in a corner and start shivering? Jesus. Crying. Crying. Jesus. Give me a royal break. Jesus. <laughs> Do you know who you are? Jesus. You don't know who you are. That's right. Okay? Satan is under your feet. Amen. Jesus is ever at the right hand of the Father making intercession for you on your behalf. That's right. You've been given power. You've been given joy. There's a scripture here. Let me read it to you that Jesus yeah. said. This is what Jesus yeah. said. Okay? He said, the glory that you gave me, mm -hmm. I've given it to them. Yes. That I may be, that we may be one, or that they may be one, even as we are one. The glory that God gave Jesus mm -hmm. has been given to you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay? Do you know that? Do you act like that? Nope. <coughs> nope. nope. Thank you. Hallelujah. God wants to make known, according to Romans 9.23, he wants to... He, he uh, wants to make known the riches of his glory. Amen. Okay, on the vessels of mercy, which he had ordained you. He pre-prepared pre, pre you unto glory. 
You've been prepared unto glory, new anointing coming, new grace coming. Receive it in the name of Jesus. This is the Thank glory. You, you are, if you don't get anything else out of this, know that you are called to glory. Yeah. 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 You are called to glory, whether it's at Walmart, whether it's at Nordstrom's, you hear what I'm saying? Whether it's at House of Blessings, Jesus. whether it's putting your fingers on that guitar playing on the keys, whatever gift God has given you to bridge, you've been, you've been made for glory. Amen. Everything you touch, everything you do is to magnify Jesus. magnificently, exceedingly magnificently the glory of God. Amen. And watch Amen. what he's going to do when you get in line. Amen. Glory coming, power coming, even more. Remember that 50 million ton H-bomb. And that's not all you got. That's just a little bit. Jesus. You hear what I'm saying? Because God is going to exceed that power. He's got to exceed the Amen. power that man Praise has. God. That's who he is. Amen. He's got to. Yes. He's got to exceed whatever the enemy can do to you. He's got to. Do Amen. you understand that's his nature? That's right. Do you understand? He's got to do it. Amen. Amen. And when you get that anchor in you, I mean, you know, when that little enemy comes with the fly that he is, you just flip him off and keep on walking. Yes. Amen. Glory coming. Okay? Glory is arising in me, the scripture says. Let all things give him glory. Amen. Let his glory arise in you. Hallelujah. Glory rising time. The glory is rising, rising. Hallelujah. Praise glory God. rising. Praise Jesus. Glory rising. Praise glory God. rising. Amen. Glory rising. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. This word was for a select few today. 6,000 folks are filled in this house. I decree it right now. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 6,000 people. I was thinking maybe 1,000 at first, and then I started praying for 2,000. But then I said, nah, I see 6,000. That's what I see. Praise God. And if each of you in here divides 6,000, divide yourselves into 6,000. That's how many you're responsible for in the next year. Amen. The glory of God is on you. It's not you doing it. It's the glory in you do it. If you the glory in you will do it. He Praise is God. your glory. He is your gifting, he's your talent, he's your voice. Thank you, God. He's everything that you are. Reflect who he is. Thank you, God. Through everything you do. In your thinking. The only place he's not getting all the glory now is in your thinking. Thank you, Father. Because you need to know truly who you are. Glory arise in you. You're called. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God.